Another week brings another cottage cheese recipe. All right, the truth is that I may have bought way too much cottage cheese for last week's recipe. So we need to add another cottage cheese recipe to the list. That recipe, one of my favorite classics reinvented. This high protein baked ziti with cottage cheese comes packed with flavor, it's super cheap to make, will last you the entire week. So let's jump right into it. Start this recipe by preparing eight ounces of dry pasta, one to two minutes less than your box says to. Today we're using ziti, but this is all preference. You want your pasta to be soft, but not mushy when it's done. It should still have some hardness to it, if that makes sense. Why? Because your pasta will continue to cook while you bake it. So if you fully cook your pasta prior to baking it, there's a chance it'll end up mushy. Now while your pasta is cooking, add into a mixing bowl, one and a half cups of your favorite sauce, one and a half cups of cottage cheese, 10 ounces of a cooked lean protein like ground beef, turkey, or chicken. I went with chicken. One cup of a mozzarella cheese, one large whole egg, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of minced garlic, a little pepper, and anything else you want, like other seasoning, spices, herbs, and so on. Mix all of those ingredients together, then add and mix in your cooked pasta. Don't forget to drain it when it's done cooking. From here, take out a baking dish. I use a two quart casserole dish and adding either some olive oil or nonstick cooking spray to the bottom of it. Follow by adding in and evenly distributing half a cup of your favorite sauce, your pasta mix, another half a cup of sauce, half a cup of some mozzarella cheese, and three tablespoons of some Parmesan cheese. Cover your baking dish with foil so that the top layer of cheese doesn't burn. Put it into the oven on 375 for around 45 to 50 minutes. Uncover it and bake it for an additional 10 minutes or until your cheese has a nice color to it. While that's cooking, it's time for the tip of the day. Did you know that you can quickly shape your foil or even parchment paper by simply wrapping it around the outside edges first rather than pressing it in? Not only is this quicker, it's guaranteed to save you from doing that, which ultimately will save you some time and money. I hope that helps someone. Back to the recipe. Couple tips for this one. Number one, we add the macro breakdown for full, reduced, and fat-free cottage cheese on the proteinchef.co. Link below in the description. Number two, if you're in a time crunch, you could eliminate the pasta prep by using a cooked pasta like this, which is sold at most grocery stores nowadays. Preparing it is definitely preferred, but both ways taste great. Number three, the most important part of this recipe is to make sure you have enough sauce. No noodles should be exposed or without a sauce bath. I don't know if I worded that one correctly. Now let's talk about you all and how we just hit 300,000 subscribers. Thank you. And if I could thank you all personally for your support throughout the years, I would. I'm not sure what I can offer here that would ever show you how grateful I am. But what I can do until I figure that out is to pick a bunch of you, send you a little TPC gift bag. Just comment below what your most made or liked recipe of mine is and I'll show everyone I picked in the next video. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you like cottage cheese recipes. Subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe we can hit 400,000, 500,000 subscribers this year. Don't forget to follow us on socials at The Protein Chef. Tell the people that you love that you love them often. And of course, stay healthy. Mm -hmm.